Hi, it's Yuris and welcome to the Two Shop Talk. And today we'll take a look at battery packs from Critical. Probably it won't be any news that Critical made another awesome product. I always loved Critical products. I still run this thing. Yeah. CX1 generation 2 little power supply and I have it for around five years my friend managed to broke one because he was traveling a lot he broke it physically so that's not a news that critical makes good products but I will take a look at battery packs I was a bit like worried or maybe scared cautious about trying them because it's a it's a whole new territory but you know 2021 new year new me so I'll try these battery packs out and before I get to try them because there's some global situation happening on the planet i'll share my first impressions i'll share my thoughts and i'll point out one thing that is surprising and it doesn't really sort of shows on any promo videos or reviews and that would be size and weight of those things let's start from the beginning let's start from unpacking experience which is rather pleasant they come in these little boxes so this would be box for a battery pack i tried both connection types there's rca and 3.5 millimeter jack and if you look at the side it indicates here which one is which one so there's a little checks next to the appropriate type of connection so these would be the battery packs themselves really nice packaging and to open them there's this little thingy right here so you can pull it open and one thing you don't want to do is put them other way in around because then you don't have this thing and then you have to be creative of, on how to pick the little drawer thingy out and the battery dock same situation nice and smooth unboxing a little polstering and there's your dock and there's also USB-C cable in here which looks long enough uh, yeah pretty long and it's also flexible and nice to touch let's unpack both no let's not unpack both yet i want to talk about weight of them that's where the fun part comes in that's why i have little kitchen scales here so i borrowed them from my girlfriend let's weight them so this is the whole box so let's put it on so the whole thing in a package comes in at 116 grams and now let's weigh the thing itself which is only 52 which is only 52 grams and this is the one with 3.5 millimeter jack connection the other one for some reason was 54 two grams heavier as the batteries themselves when you unpack them there's a bit of paperwork it's a nice info sheet a little leaflet with product code and qr code and it's all to do with reference for warranty and service inquiries rca connection thing and that one would be as i said 54 grams so two grams more and this has been on many forums where you read and ask questions about these things uh, often people when they switch to those things they are worried about weight so will the battery add a lot of weight and will it be uncomfortable to work i've tried before these ink machine dragonfly wireless setups and i was surprised how that is not much of a problem and once you try them for a couple of times you're pretty much used to them now let's speak weight I guess my scales are not too precise let's try this ink machines battery pack and this one is 61 grams and that has no dials and numbers apart from a little led on it so which lighter than pretty light battery pack and for those who haven't tried batteries before let's just compare it to cables and this would be the little Cheyenne's cable with 3.5 millimeter jack with converter on other side so it would fit non Cheyenne power supplies so let's try to weigh this one so this one is 42 grams and that's the super skinny one but once we put something like an RCA cable this one is a bit more like heavy duty type and this one is 93 grams which is almost double of the battery pack so obviously the weight distribution would be different because it's a cable and it hangs and it's long but if we talk about weight you see my point and this would be the original cable that comes with bishop rotary machines with ones and this one is 62 grams so again regular rca cable is heavier than 
battery packs. And that's what pleasantly surprised me. I wouldn't say shocked, but I was like, oh wow, these are really light. And now let's talk about size. And that's also another thing what I really wanted to point out, because for some reason they look bigger on pictures, because I guess all the pictures are taken from that weird angle when it's from the like bottom up so it's all this hero type of look hero type of shot everyone is keeping them in this cool internet manner close to cameras and they look bigger maybe than they are actually but in reality when you unpack it it's like really tiny so this would be its size i'll keep it next to my let's say eyeball if you compare it it's actually with all the connection it's in the size of a cartridge needle you can see it here boom so it's really small it's like like a fat matchbox, I would say. And you don't see that in reviews. For some reason, they look bigger. Maybe the reviewers had smaller hands, but when I unpacked it, I was shocked how small it is. Another reason why it might seem smaller if you're not familiar with size of Bishop 1 machine, it's often advertised together with that machine. And in that combination, proportion would look something like this. And if you are familiar with other pen type machines, they're usually longer. If you have that in mind and you think of a battery pack in comparison to maybe other pen type machines that you're used to, they might seem bigger than they actually are. So if you compare Bishop 1 to classic Cheyenne machine, it's only tiny a bit longer than grip of a machine. And the battery pack itself is shorter than the machine itself. Let's have a look here. That would be the machine part. And that would be the battery part and the motor. Well, at least it did confuse me. So I want to point those things out that these things are tiny and they're also super light. That would be connected to the pen type machine it would also fit this type of a machine where the connection is on the bottom there we go it's there and if we're talking Cheyenne type of machines the old type it goes on 3.5 millimeter jack and one thing you should remember is to click it in completely it sort of clicks over the first bit and it feels a bit loose but you want to push it a bit more until you feel the real click and it's there it would sort of turn around, but it's pretty sturdy. After the first click, it's kind of wobbly. So you want to make sure it's all on there. I haven't tried them yet due to the global pandemic situation. From what it looks now, with this type of a machine, you might need to use other hand to operate with it. With this type, if your hands are big enough, you can reach up and operate with one hand if it's comfortable for you. And nice thing when you unpack them, like with many gadgets these days, they come with a bit of charge in it. So there's always a bit of juice. You want to hold it for three seconds and it shows how much battery is in there and what voltage it's on. And then with these, you adjust the voltage and with a single press of a bigger button, you start to run it or stop it. They should go up to 13 volts and you can go up and down with a single press or you can hold it to make it run a bit faster. And then you just run it and stop it and long press to switch it off Bam. and i've been so excited talking about them that i haven't rem removed the protective film yet so maybe it's time to do that now let's do one here shit and be careful with this bottom part because you can be like me and you can rip the plastic bit off Another thing to point out is the nice feel of buttons. They're very tactile sort of a feel, so they are actually buttons. They're not some just little bumps. And you feel it really nicely here. And I also imagine that it will be a big help when it's like all packed in. So you have more feel, more control of what you're pushing. And it's not going to slip over the buttons or anything of that jazz. And the screen is pretty bright. You can see all you need there all the numbers, battery, and make it run, and make it stop, and switch it off. Boom. And in comparison with the regular power supply, so size-wise, kind of not too far from each other, with the cable that you need to run your machine, also comes with the separate power supply. This one also needed a converter from American to European socket, while this one is this, 
cable to charge it and a power adapter which you might have anyway because you have a phone and also you might have USB-C cable battery packs comes with the cables that's where the battery is and there's also a little cable and this power adapter came in a box just separately so I would assume that it would come with the charging station. The recommended amount would be is to have two batteries because you can have one charging while you work with other. I wanted to try them out so I took two with different connection types. Otherwise people say they last around five hours obviously depending on how you work. And a nice thing with this battery dock is that the bottom part have magnets and corners so you can attach it to metal surfaces. So now it's just on the side of this IKEA cupboard. Can be on top can be probably on the bottom if need be because they stand in here pretty tight. I'm really excited to try them out. I want to try this all new workflow. I want to have less things to worry about. I want to have the whole situation more compact. So hopefully this will do the trick. Still a bit unsure, still a bit sort of scared. Will it be something for me? Because the biggest concern for me is to work without pedal and I'm not used to it. But like I said, new year, new me. We are trying funky type machines. Why not to try them with funky type batteries and all this wireless cordless type of a thing. 180 grams without cables attached, so pretty lightweight as well. 202 just for the this situation without any adapters and power supplies if you have tried these battery packs share your thoughts down in the comment section if you have any suggestions on what's the easiest way to switch these systems what's the biggest challenges that are in the way and what would be your suggestions to overcome them then leave that down in the comment section because that this is a new thing for me i'm excited to try there'll be other product reviews and also more in-depth review when i work with these a bit more stick around comment on the video Video, press like subscribe to the channel press that little bell button next to the subscribe button and see you in a future episode beautiful very good it's very small and very real light Burp. funny yeah funny gun.